Olivia Caldwell last updated 5 o'clock, the 27th of May 2018 David Rogers, Getty Images Token Achua makes a break against Canada at last year's World Cup in Ireland. Braden F.A.S.T.I.E.R. Stuff the Black Ferns Token Atua signs autographs at a girls' tournament at Waimea Intermediate. Kelly Hodel, Stuff Black Fern Token Atua has been able to reduce her working hours to two days a week at a sign writing business in Tokoroa. Rugby a year after leaping to stardom as the Black Ferns Rugby World Cup Patrick scoring prop, a professional contract has changed Toka Natch's life. I think my passion for it has increased, Natua told Stuff, in some way, me given this contract has made me want to actually fight to be a lot better than what I was in the World Cup. It's more motivation, Natua, 26, stole the show in the final last August in Ireland when she went over the line for three tries in the breathtaking final win over England. Shortly after Natua struggled to fit back into her everyday life as a full-time graphic designer based in her hometown Tokoroa, she felt without rugby in her life she had no real sense of purpose. Coming back from the World Cup I am feeling a bit lost. I know I need bigger and better things. I have no drive now living day by day, she said. Read more, asterisk World Cup champion probe, I feel a bit lost, asterisk Black Ferns Hatrick hero token Ajua would love a parade after Rugby World Cup win asterisk back to work for Black Ferns after Cup win asterisk Black Ferns ask for more support leading into the World Cup Natua made sacrifices no high performance athlete should have to make. She reluctantly took donations from her family, she took time off work, received less income and also traveled a two-hour return trip to Hamilton at least twice a week for trainings with the team. The smiling prop however is now a New Zealand rugby employee earning potentially $20,000 on a retainer with added match fees that could bring her salary up to $40,000. She has now reduced her working week to two days so she can concentrate on what she loves, rugby. I think it's given me more security especially because when I was working my money would go all towards rugby. It was just paying for my car, my petrol to get back and forth because I was traveling, it's a lot of relief, a lot of weight off my shoulders because I have that financial backing now. Although Natua could not reveal what she would be earning, she and the, the 27 others signed up will train between 10 and 14 hours a week, which includes gym, club, games, regional or Black Ferns trainings. Add feedback, I am definitely happy with it. It has never been the reason why I play rugby. But having it there is just support, there are doubters that the Black Ferns weren't paid contracts for just three confirmed test matches this year. The women's game also has less commercial clout than the All Blacks. However, NZR made a record $161.7 million turnover in 2016 and just $5.5 million was invested into the women's game. The new contracts will now sit on top of that figure and could continue to grow. This year Natua has been a part of the Black Ferns World Cup Roadshow, taking the World Cup across the country and, visiting schools and leading coaching clinics. The World Cup win has also taken her to Rarotonga, where she got a hug buzz out of coaching kids she considers to be a wider part of her family. It's one thing giving back to the kids, but when you give back to your own people it just makes it all worthwhile. Natua was born and bred in Tokoroa but her family are from the Cook Islands. Professionalism allows Natua to train in hours that suit, as well as resting her mind and body. She is now under a less stress and has more time to work on her rugby skills and be the best player she can for the black jersey. It's given me flexibility, it allows me to try reach my full potential in my goals. It helps me to have more time for what I want to do. 
I just wanted to make the World Cup team last year, but now being an athlete, I just want to be the best that I can be and I feel this contract has opened the doors and given me that opportunity and direction. I don't have to stress out about work, women and girls rugby participation levels have also reached a record 24,295 in 2017. This is the fastest growing sector for NZ rugby, miles ahead of the men or boys game. Stuff.